guys i heard there is now a new way of growing your watch hours by doing silent life it is called restream and it is bound to grow your channel watch hours just like this so many people have been talking about it but not everyone is showing us how to actually go about it which is why i've taken it upon myself to do my own personal research and try it for myself and it worked so i'm here to show you guys how to get it done okay so if you know you're going to enjoy this video you're going to get value from this video stay tuned i love the way new things are evolving especially for we small youtubers that are struggling with subscribers not talk of watch hours now there is a way you can do silent live using restream the good thing about this silent live is that you don't have to show your face okay you don't have to show your face and you're getting watch hours just like this. Before you know it, you've gotten your 4,000 watch hours. We all know that this is one of the milestones that is really, really hard for us to hit as small YouTubers, okay? Another advantage of using Restream is that you can link as much as three pages. The good thing about linking these three platforms is that you can earn money from YouTube, from Facebook, and the other platform, okay? Once you accumulate watch hours, the accumulated watch hours goes directly to your YouTube and your Facebook page at the same time. Like, that means you're getting money from Facebook and you're getting money from YouTube. How sweet. Everybody knows that the main aim of being on YouTube, actually, is to get monetized and start earning as a YouTuber. So if there is an easy way out, why don't you drop on it? Like, why? let's just dive into how to get the job done okay guys so the first thing you have to do is to go to your safari app if you are if you're using an iphone chrome will not work for it because even if you start your process with chrome it will still redirect you back to safari so it is better you just stick to safari but if you're an android user you can use your chrome application okay so i'm going to go to my safari and click on restream.io click on go now this is how the interface is like you choose if you want to continue to log in with your google you want to continue to log in with your facebook or you want to log in with your email address so i'm just going to click on continue with google so i'm going to click on the account i want to use make sure you choose an account that is connected or linked to your youtube page for easy access okay so this is what i see you can link as so many channels as you want you can connect them together for me i just want to connect only my youtube page so i'm going to go to connect i'm going to click on channel then connect youtube they said to connect the channel please disable the pop-up blocker in your browsing browser settings and give it a try i'm going to go to my settings and click on safari i want to block the pop-up okay block pop-ups i'm going to disable it okay disabling it i'm going to try again allow okay so after that has worked i have to click on the account i use in creating my youtube channel i'm going to click on this um account i'm going to click on this and click on continue so they said this will allow restream to manage your youtube account blah 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 click on allow and just like that my youtube channel has been added okay so you can do the same for your other account if you want to add other accounts you can just do that and connect them together so that's that then now the main thing how do you go live so you come here you go to create new now these are a lot of features do you want to restream studio like do you want to stream directly from your browser do you want to use zoom this is an encoder do you want to schedule your video or stream recording so the good thing is that you can also schedule your video and say oh i want to go live once it's also time you can schedule it or you can stream a list of your recorded videos that you already have recorded on your phone then the third one is do you want to record audio and video without going live so this is a whole lot of things that you can actually do for me i'm going to click on restream studio you would like to access microphone and camera you click on you click on allow then here i'm going to edit my name i'm going to put dera jane i mean that's what people know me for because that's my youtube channel name so i'm going to put dera jane 
then after that i'm going to click on enter studio you can turn off your video and mute your mic so nobody hear what you're saying or see your face then the next thing is to click on enter studio so clicking on this enter studio doesn't mean that you've gone live it just means that you can do your settings here so you can literally just go around everything this is the chat box where you comment when people start commenting so this is chat box this is where you can put a lower third you can say something like oh hi guys welcome to my channel this will show below your video yeah welcome to my stream or you can just put any title let's say you attended a wedding let's be like oh guys hi guys welcome to a wedding vlog and you can also private chat um you can add your songs from the youtube library non-copyrighted songs from youtube library so this is what is going to look like you can vlog you can do anything you want to do people will not see your face and they will not hear what you're saying don't forget to mute your mic unless you want to interact with your audiences then you can enable your mic so let's imagine i want to add a pre-recorded something i'm going to click on add scene i'm going to click on media then i'm going to click on add source once you do that you have a list of menu what do you exactly want to do do you want to share a presentation do you want to share a video do you want to share an image that has been saved on your phone so for me i'm going to pick a video so so guys let me tell you how you can actually take advantage of this uh, menu here so let's say you attended a conference or a wedding and you took pictures you can actually just compile them using CapCut or InShot. Just use one video editing app. You can just like put them together and do a video. So you can post it and do a voiceover. So for me, I'm going to pick a video. So what you do is to upload a video. Click on upload video. Choose either your photo library, take food video or choose files. I'm going to choose photo library. Now these are the ones I've done before. These two are the ones I've done before. So I'm going to come here and pick any video that i just want to like allow people to see okay so i'm going to pick that so once it comes this way it will upload once it's done uploading you'll pick it but because i have a video shot already a video uploaded already i'm just going to pick it just to save time so since i have a video shot uploaded already i'm going to pick it so this is how it's going to show yes this is how it's going to show so i can unmute and maybe do my voice over if i want to do a voice over talking about the images as they are showing i can just do a voice over and just be talking about it keeping people engaged you don't really actually you don't need to actually show your face this picture will do all your pictures or the video you'll be showing will do the talking for you so all you just have to do is just to keep people entertained then after that you come here let i want to go live you click on title edit your title edit your description you're going to put anything because i'm not like using it for anything serious then you come here and make sure that you toggle on your channel make sure you turn it on so that once it uploads it uploads directly once you end the stream it uploads directly to your youtube channel then the next thing is to click on start streaming so okay it is loading to go live then we are live already so you can toggle to your comment section to see when people join i think the first time i did it i saw someone that sent a message so you can interact with your audiences there you can also private chat your guests that's if you invite a guest maybe both of you are doing the live together once you're done you just click on end stream then voila once you click on your end stream before you know it it would upload on your youtube channel just like that you don't need to do anything again it will automatically upload to your youtube channel so i'm going to go to my youtube channel to go and confirm if the video has been uploaded there so we can see that the video has been uploaded there after some minutes we'll be able to edit our thumbnail put a proper description put the proper title and also add your hashtags so when people search for a video that's related to your content it will pop up for them so guys that is everything you actually need to know about the restream hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe thank you guys for watching drop a comment say you're going to adopt this or say you got value from this video and i'll see you in my next video with more tips bye